Welcome back everyone to another video. In my first video about the Heike 960, I did mention the fact that the development is ongoing and the performance metrics are going to improve drastically over time. And today we are going to take a look at the same. So first let's take a look at Geekbench. Previously the scores were 1223 and 1845 for single core and multi core a benchmark but have since increased to mid 1700s on the single core side and mid 4600s on the multi core side which is an amazing performance boost as you can see i was also able to get the single core score to around 1800 point in one of my tests next let's take a look at antutu first especially the 3d test that have increased from 5 and 8 frames per second to 13 and 22 frames per second in both the test which is a great jump. Overall we can see a jump of almost double going from 66,000 to around 113,000. Again it's almost as if Heike 960 got a new CPU upgrade. Up next we have 3D Mark which saw an increase from 1000 points to around 1300 points in Slingshot Extreme. However, I would like to note that even after a fan blowing straight into the heatsink, the sock touched around 85 degrees Celsius and started to underclock during the physics benchmark. Now this was very specific to 3D Mark's physics benchmark and the reason being that that particular benchmark really stresses out both the CPU and GPU. And finally we have GFX Bench. Now I have never shown this test running on the Heike 960 previously as both the car chase and the Manhattan 3.1 resulted in very bad frames per second, sometimes even below 5 FPS. But now we are getting around 11 FPS on the car chase and 13 FPS on Manhattan 3.1 and apart from that on some of the lighter benchmarks we get 30 fps on the original manhattan 47 fps on the t-rex 30 on the tessellation and 29 fps on alu2 and this is about it for today at the end i would like to say by no means are these the expected scores for a krillin 960 soc but the performance improvements and score boosts we see reflect the reality that however powerful a hardware is, it needs optimized software to unlock its full potential. As for the Heike 960, there is still a long way to go. But again, a big shout out to all the developers who have been working on this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.